time. I have not gone back to my high school days. What I am wearing is the Senior Service Award. This is the reward that we give to all MLK seniors who participate in the band for four consecutive years, 9, 10, 11, and 12. If you participate four consecutive years, you get this at no additional cost. I don't even know whose jacket this is. This is Aaron Allen's jacket. We're going to be distributing these jackets tonight to our seniors. Give them a big round of applause. All seniors, please come. I just saw somebody walk in the door, our illustrious percussion instructor, Mr. Corey Lowe. Give it up for Mr. Lowe. So seniors, I don't think you'll mind if you could just hang out for a couple of minutes after the show and we'll be getting these passed out to you. Hope you don't mind, all right? All right, good. Without further ado, we're going to get this thing started. Mr. Simons, could you warm them up for me for a second?
This next piece is one of my favorite holiday pieces of all time. And I feel so blessed and fortunate to have a group that has the ability, the capability, the wherewithal to play a tune such as this. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Slay Ride.
I also want to recognize all of my alumni parents. Do I have any alumni parents? I see you. Come on, stand up, alumni parents. On your feet, where you at? This is a program we can take pride in that they just keep coming back, they keep working, they volunteer, they don't stop. They continue to work with us. Thank you so much to our alumni, parents. Any MLK faculty and staff in the house tonight, if you can stand and be recognized. Hey, yeah, speaking of MLK alumni, parents, and MLK faculty, this next piece is dedicated to one of the original staff members here at MLK, one of the original band parents here at MLK. This young lady, when I first started with this program, the school didn't even have a name. We were the Salem Area High School. They were still deciding on what to name the high school. The building wasn't complete, but we had a band. We had a band. We got this thing started in the spring of 2001, well before the doors opened. This young lady was one of the first people I was introduced to. She was a Salem parent, and both of her boys were in the band program. She came in, she volunteered to be our booster treasurer for the very first band booster that we started here at MLK. Both of her sons went on to become drum majors here at MLK High School. Went to college, both of them, on band scholarships to Tennessee State and with Bill Cookman. And this next selection that we're about to play is dedicated to her. Please, would you stand, Miss Pamela Taylor. So we have some traditional Christmas tunes. This is one of our, what you call a new school Christmas classic. Boys the Men, Let It Snow. Did I get those down front? I think we're ready to give these prizes away. Are you ready? 
Are they gonna get the ticket? No! Alright, I'm with it. TikTok. TikTok. Alright, last last announcements before we get out of here tonight. This will be our last selection. Folks, as we stated, um, the new season for the 2016-2017 school year for the marching band will not start next spring around Jamboree time like we usually do. We will start in January because we have so, so much stuff coming down the pipeline, getting ready for the Rose Parade, we've got a fundraise, things of that nature. The season starts as soon as we get back. We're having Queens tryouts in January. We're getting ready for the King Parade. It starts as soon as we get back. We'll do a modified rehearsal schedule. We're gonna do marching band two days a week through the month of January to get ready for the MLK Parade on the MLK holiday, the one right here in our neighborhood from Green Pastures Church right back to MLK. And during the month of February, we're gonna put on a black history program. And then as we get ready for March and spring break, then we'll crank up our jamboree preparation. So marching band will not stop. One long season. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, I, I think we're ready. Come on down, Mrs. Stone Cup. All right, top of the bowl or bottom of the bowl? All right, remember you do not have to be present to win. I've got one. This is for the third prize, a $25 Visa gift card. Uh, Sandra McNair from Decatur, Georgia. Is Sandra here? Ticket 224. Sandra McNair. No? Not here? All right. We'll call Sandra. We've got a number. Good. Congratulations to Sandra in her absence. Second prize. Remember, you do not have to be present to win. And we will do this again. And let me give you a little brief background while I'm digging here. We got the gift cards because of our percussion section. You know, we performed twice this year for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, the first time the full band went out, the second time our drum line, the x Factor, went out, and we won $2,000 in Publix gift cards. Yeah. That's why this fundraiser has such a quick turnaround. We just won the prizes a couple of weeks ago. And speaking of that percussion performance, all of my percussion students, that participated that day, you will also receive a ticket to the January 3rd game. This is the second prize, so all of my percussion students that participated, come see me first thing tomorrow. I will be here in the morning before I fly out. Come see me, and we will distribute your ticket, but you have to come see me before you go to first period. Second prize, two tickets to the Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints on January the 3rd, 2016, at the Georgia Dome. Game time is 1 p.m. Uh, uh, Miss Catherine Daniels, Miss Catherine Daniels, ticket 423. Catherine Daniels, is Catherine Daniels in the house? Hmm? Oh, the chef won, all right. Give it up, Miss Catherine Daniels, that's good. Remind me, give it up, Miss Daniels. She's the cook, our caterer for the night, and she won the two tickets, awesome. And guys, we are going to do this again. We're gonna have bigger and better prizes on the second and third and fourth giveaway. So be ready, be ready. Here we go. This is for the $500. I know kids don't appreciate it. I know the parents appreciate that $500 gift card. Some groceries, right? Some Publix chicken wings, right? Have y'all seen that line up there? Oh my God. Okay, first prize, $500 Publix gift card. Ticket 273, Miss Mildred Gale. Mildred Gale. All right, we have her number. We will give this to her. All right, thank you. We're rolling. Thank you so much. Guys, once again, thank you for your attendance tonight. It is always a pleasure. I know we're getting ready for the Rose Parade. This band has been all over the country, Washington, D.C., the Cotton Bowl, Johannesburg, South Africa. But my favorite place to perform is right here at home, just for you. Know that from the bottom of my heart. 
This is a special thing for me. This is my dream job. I love it. Thank you for your attendance tonight. And we're going to close this thing down. You can't have Christmas without this tune. This Christmas. Now, let me, let me give you guys a, a, a quick story. We pulled this Christmas out, and I told him it's by Donny Hathaway, and the kid said, uh-uh, that's Chris Brown's song. I said, what? Yeah, it was in that movie. Chris Brown made that song first. Now, guys, I can't blame it on the students. Parents, that's on you. I'm scolding you on it. That's your fault. Donnie Hathaway. And I like Chris Brown, but Chris Brown. Donnie Hathaway. Chris Brown. Another shameless plug. Hey, guys, pull your 750 out. We got to go place ready in the lobby. Make sure you get one. Watch this, parents. For every place you purchase now, five dollars of that goes right to your Rose Bowl account. Does that make sense, guys? For every place you purchase. So if you're an alumni, know and you know someone in the band, buy a plate, put their name down. All right. So seven fifty. We're gonna do this once a month. So every time we do this, MLK Den and I. Make sure you come out. Hit the to go place. It's really good. Trust me on that. Good. And I said. Donnie Hathaway, Chris Brown, in the middle there is The Whisper. Do y'all remember that slow version, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, The Whisper's tore it up, right? Oh my God, one of my favorite groups as well. So what I'm doing tonight, we're gonna do a little mixture of both of those. We're gonna have a little whisper that we can in, slow it down, and then we're gonna turn it up a little bit, and we're gonna feature one of our young trumpet players here, uh, Junior, Mr. Damian Buzz. Once again, Thank you for your attendance tonight. This is our last number. I hope you enjoy this Christmas.
Once again, guys, that's our show. Thank you for coming out tonight. Make sure you hit those plates out there for us. Have a good night and happy holidays.